there are big changes in the works at three of Boston's busiest commuter rail stations. The T is now planning to install some new fare gates that would force passengers to pay for their seats before they get on the train. WBZ's Tashani Whitlow spoke to riders who seem to be on board with this. Big changes coming to the commuter rail. Last call for the bitch. The MBTA is planning to install fare gates at three major hubs North Station, Back Bay, and South Station early next year. I think it's a great idea. It's in an effort to collect more fares and stop freeloaders. Now, this isn't the first time the MBTA has considered installing fare gates. Back in 2017, the T pondered over the idea as a way to cut down on fare evaders, which it says accounts for 10 to 20 million dollars in lost revenue. Elizabeth Derwin, who travels into Boston from Norfolk, is on board. If we can recoup that kind of money and put it into the serviceability of the trains, I think everyone would be much happier. The gates would be similar to the ones at subway stations. Riders would be required to purchase tickets in order to get through. Once you board your train, a conductor would still check your ticket to make sure you paid. Eric Reinman of Westwood takes the Franklin Line into Boston every day, is worried about congestion. I would certainly have, uh, you know, congestion concerns and if you're talking about individuals um, having to go through a much smaller confined space. While high school student CJ Jambu Nathan of Canton believes relying on technology would be more accurate. If it's automated I feel like it'll be a lot easier for the MBTA and it'll be like less work for the staff and they could put their resources and time elsewhere. The T estimates annual revenue could be increased by up to 24 million dollars, money that would cover construction of the fare gates and creating a fare enforcement team. I think most people believe that uh, if you're going to ride the T that you should pay. Keolis is still deciding where in the stations the gates will be installed. In Boston, Tashani Whitlow, WBZ News.